power word kill. The most metal name for a spell that I've ever heard. It's ninth level, which is the highest possible level spell, and it only has a verbal component. And it's about five lines of description here on my phone. Doesn't sound amazing. Give me a second. Welcome to the first episode of Spell Spotlight. I am your host, Jake Anslow. Our word kill is a spell I have had a little experience in, mainly using it on my big bad evil guy. We'll talk about that in a second. For now, is the spell description. Ninth level enchantment. Casting time, one action. Range 60 feet, components verbal, and duration instantaneous. You utter a word of power that can compel one creature you can see within range to die instantly. If the creature you choose has a 100 hit points or fewer, it dies. Otherwise, the spell has no effect. That's a lot to take in, don't you think? The fact that anyone can just cast a ninth level spell and kill anyone under 100 hit points is mental. A player character having this spell is not going to encounter too many people with less than 100 health, but when the DM says they're looking pretty rough, that's when you bust this bad boy out and just ruin all of his plans. It's, it's mental. And honestly, weirdly, I wouldn't recommend it for a player to take. Late game, you're going to be encountering a lot of things, and most of them are going to have more than 100 hit points. Instantly executing one thing is great in an encounter, but there's no official measure that you can make to determine whether a creature has below 100 hit points, unless your DM tells you and stuff like that. Normally I don't. I just say how rough they're looking, and normally it's only if the player asks, because I want them to be actively thinking strategically and not just knowing how long it's going to take to kill the baddie. And also role-playing a bit better, because if they don't exactly know how much damage they need to do to kill the bad guy, they might resort to other things. Power Word Kill is a sort of spell that for a DM, I would recommend putting on your bad guy. Any bad guy. Here's an example. In a game that I run, I have a homebrewed evil man who, halfway through the campaign, through a contract with Orcus, gained Lichdom which is basically what happens if a wizard is annoyed that they don't live longer than like 70, 80 years. So therefore, they go and become a zombie with magic and get stronger and don't die ever. They're a really neat thing to throw at a party and they are quite infamous for their possession of the ninth level spell power word kill because when you're a player, Power Word Kill is one of the most terrifying things that anyone can ever experience in D&D. Knowing that you're within 60 feet of a bad guy that has this spell, and that you are below 100 hit points, and that you could instantly die, is whack. Like, imagine having to go through that. I've had players that, and I mean, I, I imagine they probably might be a little scared of the fact that my bad guy can do that, because he showed them it when he fought them and Mr. Paladin with like 93 health remaining out of his 115 or something got one shot and that just sent the entire plan they had for killing the guy out of whack. Luckily most of them were revived one way or another and that wasn't a TPK but that's just because they ran and only three of them were out. Two of them got revived by a planetar because I'm nice. Power word kill for a player I wouldn't recommend because again you don't know how bad someone's hurt. And, I mean, it's super cool, but there's so many better ones that you can take when you're a god. Sorcerer, Warlock Wizard. For that sort of character, it's amazing to get, don't get me wrong, but again, there's so many better options. For a wizard, there is literally the wish spell. The, the, the spell where you get a wish. There's, there's true polymorph. You can also save a ninth level spell slot for casting something at a higher level. Keeping a ninth level for a counter spell is always quite clutch, slash dispel magic if you want to get rid of someone's magical effect that they have on themselves. Uh, bye bye big bad evil guy mage armor, stone skin, mind blank, whatever. But <sighs> power word kill is not great for a person that's 17th level. 
to 20th level. It can be used, never seen it, don't know if I ever will. Most of the things that they can kill that are under 100 hit points, they can do so in like a round, if that. And power word kill might speed that along a little bit, but that's your bloody 9th level. The flavour of it is amazing. You can just say a single word and someone within 60 feet of you dies. It's cool to say, it's not cool in the game. This has been the first episode of Spell Spotlight. I talked about Power Word Kill just now. I'm your host, Jake Anslow, and I'll see you in the next episode. Do the like and the sub and the notif. Ping, ping, ping. That thing where you get the, the ping on your phone whenever we do the video. I know what I'm doing. It's nine o'clock at night, okay?